All right, so this video here is a fascinating topic. What, what I'd like to do here is discuss just dispelling these protein myths. Uh, the, the common idea out there is that if you're somebody who takes under 20% protein, you're completely deluded. Um, so the idea to take maybe 7 to 10% protein is considered absurd, right? So that's what I want to cover in this video. I want to actually look at people that I know for a fact take somewhere between uh, 7 to 12 percent protein because uh, they have said that they only take their protein in from uh, fruits and vegetable sources and they take no supplements. So I've specifically found people that take no supplements at all because we could find you know many vegetarians or vegans and things people like that you know that take a, a bunch of supplements and eat you know uh, lentils all day long and and beans all day long and soy all day long you know where, where they can get high levels of protein in. So I've specifically found people that have said don't take any supplements at all. Don't even look into trying to get in a lot of protein. That all they do is just exercise intensely and just let the muscles grow. They depend on muscle growth from intense workouts, not from high levels of protein. Okay, so and some people that think that you got to take over 35 percent just to grow muscles, you know that I I, I strongly suggest you know reconsidering that. So let's look at what I got here. So here. Let's start with yours truly. It's just a simple picture of me now. I want to make it clear, very, very clear that I do not, I'm not even a bodybuilder. I'm not even trying to gain muscle, not even trying to be big. I'm trying to show you that this is what happens when you're not even trying, okay? I'm, all I do is I work out um, one, uh, one specific muscle once a week. That's it, folks, once a week. And I do three sets, that's it three sets and I mostly use this right here I use this little wussy exercise bands okay so I don't even go to the gym and uh, and you can see what I do here uh, okay and you know again my results are very I, I would consider modest nothing to brag about okay so here you know I mean I'm not some scrawny twiggy little thing either right I mean, nothing to brag about, but I'm not some twiggy little thing. Uh, somebody refer said to me, you probably look like some little one of those wussy soy boys. I hadn't heard that expression before, but that's not the case, okay? So here you can see that, um, you know, while nothing to brag about, uh, you know, I don't look uh, twiggy either. You know, and again, that's working out three sets each muscle. So I do my chest one time a week, about three sets biceps one time a week about three sets because I'm not trying to get big it's not even one of my priorities right now now moving on to the next thing okay here's a guy who is pretty muscular okay and he doesn't seek out protein at all <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> now I have to explain that this is, I think, for some kind of stripper's calendar or something. So uh, it's not, you know, the most tasteful example I could find. It's a guy named Marcus Patrick. Okay, he's uh, got a few videos up here, and and he, I know, has gone on the record saying that he doesn't even seek out uh, protein. He just works out hard, and that's all there is to it. So pretty funny there but obviously you can see that he's far 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 from scrawny okay I know a lot of serious bodybuilders who take supplements morning to night you know wish they could get a physique like that okay here's another guy he goes by uh, I don't know Noel something he calls himself Noel vegan fitness star okay and uh, here we got a little something okay you know and it Okay, so, you know, again, no one's saying he's got the absolute biggest, most muscular body in the world, but it's halfway decent, wouldn't you say? And this is him there again, by the way. Okay, and 
This is again taking in about 7 to 12 grams. I figure that because if you're not counting protein, you're just getting it from fruits and vegetables. Uh, it's unlikely it's going to exceed about 12%. Okay, so there you go. So keep this in mind and remember that even babies, babies, 6%, a growing infant, 6% protein from mother's milk is all that's in there. I don't know how many of you know that. So if a baby can grow, grow skin, grow hair, grow, grow teeth with 6% protein, imagine the everyday average Joe or Jane. They're, they'll be perfectly fine with under 15%. Okay? So hope this has been helpful for you. And we could go on and on about what does start to happen when you start to exceed certain levels that are lower than you would think, okay, especially of animal protein. Uh, you know, what it can do to, to health. Now, the, uh, the last thing I want to say is some people will say, well, you, so you're telling me that you can gain the same amount of protein, uh, muscle, you know, being um, on lower levels of protein without eating meat, you know. My honest answer to that is no. You probably will still get bigger uh, taking in eating meat, particularly meat that isn't organic, that isn't uh, farm raised, you know, that has steroids and hormones. But here's the thing, okay? Why, why do I say that? Well, because, you know, there's hormones and there's steroids in there. And, of course, those things, you, you're ingesting them. They're going into your body. So, of course, now you have hormones and steroids. So, when you go and lift, honestly, ch chances are that you will get bigger eating uh, common meat. However, is that the purpose? Just so you could get bigger muscle that you want to possibly sacrifice your health with all the hormones and the steroids that are in there, not to mention everything else that we can find uh, that's probably not great for you in there. But, you know, throwing that in, so, you know, I mean, so what? You can get a little bigger, but who cares? I mean, th that's not the most important thing. I'd rather gain, you know, a, a respectable amount of muscle, even if it's a little less, and know that it's perfectly healthy and not worry about all kinds of crazy hormones and steroids that are, you know, bouncing around in my body doing God knows what. Okay? So I hope this has been helpful for you. That's the purpose of these videos is uh, educational. Okay? So peace. Enjoy. Good luck.